Betis, as you said, have had to play a different style because they're without two of their best players in Isco and Gio Lo Celso. It kind of changed a bit, yeah, you have to adjust. They Obviously, they have a great squad and, and they can move around pieces. Donate, uh, pay no attention to the number on your screen if you're not in Spain. You can go to the Red Cross and donate there. And here comes Athletic Club down the left-hand side, and it's Nico Williams who was offside. But Nico finds his brother, Sanfet. I should say, slips it out to Inyaki on the left-hand side. Three bodies in the middle. It's put in towards Oyan Sanfet, who hits the post. The flag stays down. Although the follow-up from Jalo might not have... Well, that's really difficult to tell. It, any of that would have counted on second blush. Switching from one flank to the other and back again. And Yaki Williams, great first touch. What can he do now? Chips it in to the middle and Sanfet again just needs the finishing touch. And again, it doesn't come. Ruiz de Galarreta, he likes the cross too. It was a good one in towards Jalo, out towards Iñaki Williams, who hits the crossbar. Ball was on the wrong side of Sanfet. He saw a pass though, and Jalo kept his run going. Here he comes, looking to put his cross in. Iñaki has it denied. Oh, what a stop from Silva, right in the breadbasket. Alvaro Jalo for Iñaki Williams on his left foot. That wasn't headed towards the goal, but Athletic Club will take it. Back again, Iñaki over the top, lays it off. Sanfet can't put it home. It's still with Iñaki. He goes to ground. Alvaro La Roja says, no, sir. Immediately confirmed. Corner comes in from Nico, and it hits the post again. Athletic Club can't buy a goal. Savali has found Diao, and it goes to the top of the box for Pablo Fornals, who showed up in the second half. He's put Betis in front. Here's Inyaki Williams again. Sanfet made the overlap, and he misses the target. Unlike Oyan Sanfet tonight. Pushed into the area again, headed down by Vivian, who wants to get there first. He's there, and he takes on the shot. Parried away once by Silva. Williams misses. Abde clears. And he clears with space. And it's a four on two for Betis. Victor Roque has options. Can he pick the right one? Fornaus in space on the near side. Pablo Fornaus, a San Diao. And it's saved by Aguirre Zavala. That works to set up Iñaki Williams on the cutback for DeMarcos. Good ball in, Beringer! 1-1. One, one. They called his name, and he delivered. Like Nico Williams, who pushes forward now. On the cutback, the shot by Herrera is saved twice. It's a double stop from Silva. That's a fortunate bounce for Inyaki. There's a little two-on-two two here. It's the Williams brothers getting at it. Inyaki wiggles through one, still turning. Inyaki passes it off. It's Goro Sabal. Silva to the rescue again. And now Betis come the other way. And it's a four-on-four. Four. It's Abde. Diaz at the back post. Is knotted down by Berchiche. Aguirre Zabala gets enough on it. Oh my, this one. the two sides are going to share the points. It seems like, yeah, and, and um, I was just saying, I think a point for Betis is more than they deserve in the, in the first half. But they did deserve, they, they gifted us an amazing performance in the second half, both teams, with uh, chances to score in both in both sides. So, you know, there's, there's someone that's uh, happy tonight. Uh, there's another coach that maybe not too much.